كذب الذين من قبلهم حتى ذاقوا بأسنا قل هل عندكم من علم فتخرجوه لنا إن تتبعون إلى الظن وإلى الجور إلا تخرصون إن تتبعون إلى الظن Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, a few days ago, there was an imam from Algeria who was fulfilling the evening prayer known as Taraweeh, and a cat happened to jump on him, and it actually spent a bit of time there. The beauty of all of that was he did not panic, and he did not cut his recitation. He didn't even pause or stop or jerk. And subhanAllah, he maintained his concentration as he was prior to the jumping of the cat. That was something amazing, mashallah. May Allah bless the Imam and grant him goodness. What I want to say is this video went viral and rightly so, mashallah, mashallah. And many people got to see a side of bearded people, or should I say practicing Muslims with animals. I want to seize this opportunity to say the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has told us that people have entered paradise because of their good treatment of dogs and cats. And people have entered hellfire because of their bad treatment of cats. There is a narration, which means these animals. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, Fi kulli kabidin ratbatin ajrun. Every creature that has a liver, Every creature that has life, subhanAllah, we need to be good to it and we will get a reward for being kind and good. Not only that, Islam extends to your ecosystem, your environment, the trees that you have. You don't just chop them down in a destructive manner. But we are encouraged very strongly to plant trees. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says whoever plants a tree will continue to get a reward for as long as that tree is standing, even beyond that person's death, for as long as it is providing some form of benefit in terms of shade, in terms of fruit, or whatever else it may be for the people or the birds and the animals and so on. So this is Islam. I'm so happy that this video went viral because many people think as Muslims we're not supposed to be kind to animals and so on, including dogs and pigs, subhanAllah. I've mentioned quite a few times in the past that the fact that something is prohibited to consume, such as a pig or pork, does not make it permissible for us to be nasty to those animals. Those animals are still animals created by Allah Almighty. Be kind, and the Almighty will be kind, not just to you in this world, but even in the hereafter. So if people can earn paradise, through being kind to animals, imagine what they would earn by being kind towards fellow human beings. SubhanAllah. May Allah Almighty make us from those who happen to be very kind. This is the month of kindness and generosity, the month of Ramadan, and this is the message I have for you tonight. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.